I bought so much of this beer that I have to drink it all now. <laughs> Welcome back to Haunted Garage. I'm your host, Frankie. With me as always. Jeremy David King. In the booth, we got Fabian. Rodriguez. Uh, hey, I'm back, bitches. <laughs> Guayaba, bro. Guayaba, bro. You know what? I, I think, you know, we're all wearing our, our beautiful car club. Um, you know, it's Sons, Sons of, of Malarkey. Malarkey. Yep. They allow Fords. Yep. They no, do. they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yeah. So we I still our, make fun of them. We have our nice. <laughs> we have our nice little. You're in because you got a VW. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jesus. Let me tell you about putting a tensioner on that fucking thing. <laughs> it's a lot easier than he thought it was. Oh my god! Fucking arm. The guy's arms going underneath the rotor onto it. He's like, I can't. I don't have any more strength. I'm like, because why don't you just. You just go right here and just just put the rotor there. Go right here. We're gonna teach him how to work on cars. You know, this is why I'm an IT guy. Josh, it's just a little bit easier. Well, Josh <laughs> thought he was gonna lose his fingers that day. He's like, "Oh my god, that's right, that's don't right." Let go He's like, of Frankie, the belt. Please, please don't let go of that belt. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've actually hey. pinched my fingers between a belt and a oh. and a pulley before. It does leave uh, blood. It, it's not a fun experience. No. Um, the the yeah, it's not not fun. Those grooves on the pulley, they're sharp. So I'm I'm we're kind of in this residual space now where we are a couple weeks away from our, our horror festival, which was great. It was a great time. Yep. Um, we had it at the High Point Theater and the, basically a very centralized theater. 1922, one of the first films they played at the High Point Theater was Nosferatu. Which I thought was so cool, right? I love that had, movie. Yeah, we had a, I mean, it's the first Dracula film, right? So yep. we had a real, like, history of haunted films there. And I really do hope that Cinema St. Louis and, and the High Point Theater continue to do, um, and, 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 and continue to own the place and have it. I really hope that um, they're able to kind of muster through these. It's been tough, you know, with getting right. people back in the cinema after Kova. COVID. Kova? Kova.com? Kova? At the um, Cova Cabana. Hey, if you're just joining us and this is your purpose, go ahead and like and prescribe down there. There's a little button there. Go ahead and hit it. If you don't want to, don't. Just don't come back again because then, well, you won't because you haven't prescribed. Yeah. When you pres- don't prescribe. It's the drug that keeps on giving. It's Frankie and Jeremy. It's mid-October. We're having fun. We're having our, we are all in orange and black. Okay. Our yellow and gold and black is kind of our racing colors. Sons of Malarkey is kind of a little parody on Sons of Anarchy. We're kind of funny guys. So as you can see, our school is laughing and he's not holding, he's holding the uh, the, the, the Reaper thing there, but he's actually, it's it's a rubber it's chicken. It's a scythe. It's a rubber chicken. So uh, pretty cool. Uh, that's what we do. <laughs> Same guy designed our posters. That's uh, Andres Rios. You can follow him on Soul Zombie. That's S-O-L-E-Z-O-M-B-I-E on the Instagrams. And he does do work. So just, Go ahead and slip in his DMs and ask him, hey, I want some illustration work. And he'll give it to you. He's done all of our work. He's done our posters. That beautiful sweater over there that we're about to give away, just one week away, guys. One week away, the Haunted Garage will be at the Eureka Springs Zombie Crawl, October 28th, big booth. Can't miss us right next to the center of it all. Apocalyptic cars, people getting their faces painted and makeup artists like or zombies. off. And it's going to be amazing time. If you're single, come on out. There's plenty of dead people you can talk to. It's going to just be a really fun event. Eureka Springs, can't miss it, October 28th. Come out and see us. High five five us we'll give you a nice sticker pack and we'll give you an offer on that sweater okay nice little offer for yeah you. we're just dead inside for you fifty dollars everybody else fifty dollars <laughs> this message brought to you by hams <laughs> <laughs> that one wasn't from mine. the land of sky blue waters comes sky the milwaukee's blue. best here this is hams beer the taste of hams does it say milwaukee's best no because that's the name of that other beer the, the beer beast. It's it's like the beer dot 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 refreshing. You look refreshed. You look refreshed. I you know what? From the land of sky blue waters. You you like a prescribe. You want to? On the hienda today with Rodriguez and Jeremy King. Um I can't we are doing a little bit about a bug beagle. <laughs> 
A bug beagle? <laughs> V-dub? A little bit about the V-dub. But yeah, this V-dub just happened to be owned by Ted Bundy. Actually, there's two. And welcome to the show. It's Bundy's Beetle. Yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> Stupid show. I mean, if they don't like us, they can I mean, go to hell. They really can. I mean, like and prescribe. Like and Just prescribe. Un- unsubscribe real quick. And then re like. And then re like and prescribe. Click the bell. Click the bell. Because we love that song, Hell's Bell. Slip into our DMs. Leave a comment below. Tell us how ridiculous we are. Tell us if you want one of these sweaters. You have to have a nice car and join the club. It's a thousand a year. Okay? Bye. And it's also not Fords. You can have a Ford. I have a 66 Mustang. We're going to sell it and buy a 55 Chevy. Hell yeah. We're going to buy a Manson's Haunted Rod. Did you check out that episode? You can check out that episode right here. You can. Anyway. It's not there. It's not there. Nope. It's in the comment below. Not there either. Not there. We just don't do that. We're lazy. Just go to our fucking page. Why do I got to put everything for you, generation? It's yeah. the generation that wants everything handed to them. It's Bundy's Beetle. Yeah. Cha cha cha. This is so stupid. <laughs> I feel like that we've created like a play for, or like a musical from the 1950s. I don't know. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> it's Bundy's Beetle. I switched. I switched the video from you to him, and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's "Perfect, perfect. We're good at it." We're just the editing here is just uh, just incredible. Oh like it, prescribe again. Why not? Just put ding. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, awesome. you know what? Get into your mom's phone. Like yeah. and prescribe for her too. If you need followers, we can help you with that. Just make sure you have two family members that are alive. And there you yeah, go. There you got. There's two more. Awesome. Got well, it. Welcome to YouTube. We're not banned by anything because we're not political. We're talking about Bundy's Beatles. All right. Jesus. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> so, as we all probably know, Ted Bundy was a uh, strangler of women. He killed a lot of women, but he used his cars. To help him. Mm. So his first one was a 68 Beetle. Um, and which is which is important for my line of work of what I used to used to do. Still a designer, but I don't work in advertising anymore. But Dale, Do- uh, Dale uh, fuck. Doyle Burn? Dane and Bur- Burnback. They did um, the first. It was a very famous episode. Oh, no, famous. It was a famous advertising camp. Dude, Com- fucking hams is working. Commercial. In the land of sky blue waters. Anyway, so no, it they did the first ad, which was one of the famous advertising. It said lemon on it, um, and that it was, was the first time they called it a beetle. Yeah, and they were talking about the basically the glove compartment box, how it opened differently than any other ones. That was the right. lemon part of it. But uh, also, they made a mistake on the advertisement too. Uh, yeah, one of the biggest. Uh, this is a kind of a fun thing that you can actually play at home. You can actually look up this ad. On, uh, you know, Google, the internet, whatever. It's right here. It's right here. It's not, Actually, it's not there. It's still not there. Not there. <laughs> Wait, it's, nope, nope, not there. Not doing Go ahead. it. Yep. Um, you can look it up online or you can follow the links below. Not in the links below. Remember, uh, look it up, dear? Yeah. Encyclopedia Britannica. Look it up, dear. Exactly. Make sure you get your Encyclopedia Britannica. Call this number below, 491-7640. That number doesn't work anymore. Probably uh, not. Encyclopedia Botanica? No. 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 Anybody remember that? It's all wrong. All the history has changed. Just throw them out. Burn them. Whatever you need to do. But the actual advertisement for this bug actually has this smoke coming from the front of the car. I remember this. And yeah. th- what's wrong with that? Um, they didn't. They were air cooled. Number one, and the <laughs> engines in the back. Right. So there can be no steam because there is no cooling system. Yeah. So back in the day when you did advertisements, you really ever talked to manufacturers? They just basically paid you a bunch of money, and you, they just sat back and waited. And Volkswagen was pretty pissed about it. Yeah. So I also understand the history of Volkswagen actually built in Nazi concentration camps. It had a bad following coming into the United States in the fifties. So right after post World War II, Volkswagen had a rough go of it until they hired. Until they hired DDB. Until they hiled? What are wow. you talking about? <laughs> what? Oh, Did my you God. say that? Yeah. Bundy's Beetle. Hile. <laughs> Stop that <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Topical. Anyway, um, what 
But anyway, they, they were built in <laughs> the Nazi concentration camps. They had a rough go of it in the United States until they hire, hired DDB. The Beetle itself was not built in the concentration camps. The Volkswagen was started by partnership between Porsche and Hitler, but that's because Hitler mm-hmm. forced him to do it. It wasn't to, because right, he wanted Right, but there to. was a direct correlation and association with that I do Volkswagen. Get. In the United States, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah. actually, I mean, this is another funny thing that you guys will learn in the advertising industry. I used to teach the history of graphic design and advertising. And this is one of the things with the ad, with the smoke coming out of the front of the car. The other one that was really interesting was Stoli Vodka. Uh, is one of the, the first vodkas introduced in America. But once again, vodka is Russian. We're post-war. Russia's red. We would get into a Cold War with well, them for decades. We were all decades. good friends until that happened, right? <laughs> exactly. I mean, they didn't kill more people than the the Hitler did. No, but it's but it's crazy though to think that when you when you have you know when you're living in the fifties, vodka is still not a viable option at that point. You're basically drinking whiskey and 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 uh, bourbon. We had no potato juice here. No. So what Stoli did, which was pretty interesting. They couldn't market it as Russian vodka. So what they did was they marketed it as white whiskey and it did well. So th- those really? are some of the tricks and trades of the That's advertising awesome. industry. Yeah. And um, <laughs> I didn't even it's not even near it. whiskey in a distill- uh, distillation. Uh, distill- wow. I just, hams. Jesus. From the land of. <laughs> 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 Fuck, man. Is this a tall boy? What am I drinking here? How much of that have you had? I don't fucking know. That's like his eighth one, too. Oh, that's a a six. It's a tall boy, I guess. Not really. It's 16 ounces. 16. I mean. It's four more ounces than I usually drink. Oh, you're getting a little lush over there. (laughs) But anyway, so Volkswagen had a hard go at it, but then DDB kind of brings it into. So 68, that that Volkswagen specifically is used in that advertisement. Mm -hmm. So that is kind of a very big gear. Um, even though they were made prior to that, mm-hmm. 68 kind of really balances them. And that's one of the ones that if you're going to own one is worth a little bit of money because they don't have the crappy front suspension that the super Beatles had and you can make them a Baja. Mm, there you go. Mm. Baja single seater. Go ahead. So tell me about how he used this car to kill people with. So there was, so he would, there was two different ways that he apparently did this. One is if it was more like dark, he would use the headlights and strangle them in front of the car and then put them in the car inside the car though. There was no passenger seat. So if he abducted somebody, he would use handcuffs. I guess he had made like holes through the frame where he could attach these handcuffs and, and basically where the passenger seat was supposed to be, he would, handcuff them there, then he could do his strangulation thing because apparently that's how he killed all his people. Yeah, Bundy's a a very interesting character. He... Very intelligent. Yeah, and he's actually was one of really the only 30-30 psychopaths. He actually... he scored perfect score. Yeah, on a homicidal psychopath, which you don't see a lot, even to the likes of John Wayne Gacy doesn't score that high because he had empathy. None of them. Yeah, they had empathy. And he was a perfect 30 out of 30 for psychopaths. So he was very dangerous, one of the one of the most crucial killers. And I guess he likes the Volkswagen. So he removes the front seat because it did come with a bench seat or bucket seats. I mean, what did they it come with? They had bucket seats. They had bucket seats. Because they were, they were, I think all VW Beetles were four speeds. I gotcha. don't think they, I think later they had like, uh, there was like a, a some kind of, manual option that you didn't have to use the clutch, Mm. but you still had to shift. I've heard people talk about that. I've never seen one. I've never driven one, but I have driven four speed beetles before. Oh, wow. So they're pretty cool. I like them. Yeah. I mean, so he's using this car and I think this is one of the cars that actually kind of gets him also caught, isn't it? Yes. So he basically cleans it and then sells it to some kid Mm. And after the fact, they, uh, re- I guess they repossess it. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever they call it when the police take the car, impound it. That's it. They impound the car. They Thank search you, it. Thank you, listener. That's listening yeah. live, even though we're not live. <laughs> but he, they impound it. They they go through it forensically. 
and they find all sorts of evidence. So they they arrest him, and after this, he escapes twice. Mm. Like, he never gets prosecuted for that because he escapes. Then he steals in Florida, he steals a 72 Super Beetle. So the difference between a, a regular Beetle and a Super Beetle is... They have a little bit bigger engine, a little bit more horsepower, a little bit more torque. They are a little bit longer, and they are a little bit wider. So they are a bigger car. In fact, I have some of the specs here. Um, the original Beetle had uh, 14, uh, 1493 cc's, so 1,493 cc's. It's a 1.5 liter, and it's air-cooled, 53 horsepower, 78 foot-pounds of torque. That is a monster. For the it's car. Not, yeah, it's not a monster. I mean, essentially, it's a 1,400cc. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a dirt bike. Yeah, yeah. I mean, literally. Literally. Like, There's motorcycles with much larger motors. Yeah, and you can this. literally pick the engine out of these things. Oh, too, yeah. It's easier. Out. Easy. I, I, my friends that have had them said it's easier to pull the engine out to change the spark plugs. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> and then the 72 Super Beetle had 1,585cc, uh, so it's a 1.6. 65 horsepower, crushing that 53. And uh, 87 foot-pounds of torque, which mm. is crushing that 78. I mean, when you have that feel, that's actually a big improvement. What color was the second one? I Orange. Orange. And we know who it was stolen from. It was... Uh, and this is the one that they can't find? This car does not... It, it, we don't know if it exists. The 68 is sitting in Pigeon Forge in the Alcatraz Prison Museum. So in Tennessee. Yes. In Tennessee, in Pigeon Forge, there is a Alcatraz Museum. Let me correct? get the exact. Alcatraz East Crime Museum. Alcatraz East. Okay, Alcatraz East. Get it. Yeah. Crime Museum. And there's a lot of other stuff in there, too. They have, like, John Wayne Gacy's, like, paint Painting boxes. Painting kit. And then they have OJ's White Bronco. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, this is a cool place for us to go visit. I think, you know, one of the few Fords I'd be willing to drive is that same year white Bronco with uh, the plate that says juice. I would drive that. Interesting. And put a small block Chevy in it. Yeah. I mean, swapper, yeah. right? Yeah. Get her done there. You can't swap that with your hands, though. <laughs> anyway, um, so... So the 68, the one he initially starts killing with, and was he still, I guess he was still he using owned this. That one. He owned this one. Yeah, he owned that. He sells it. Some kid buys it in New York, right? Some eccentric, I heard. So, yeah, well, it's uh, like this, they, I guess it sat there for a really long time, and this guy ends up buying it. He's a police officer, and he buys it for like 925 bucks. Was he a police officer on the scene? No. Okay. No. But he just people, liked the lore and yeah, people were like, why are you buying this car? And he's like, it's a future investment. Then fast forward, you know, dozen years or so. He, I mean, we're not in the haunted car business just because, you know, you know, we there's like no haunted cars. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And you know, there's, there's definitely money to be made if you stumble around the right one. Right. Know? So, and so he, he lists this thing in the New York times for $25,000 mm. and this guy Nash who is the owner of the museum, buys it. Okay. Like, so, the, like the old car, the old Nash. Yeah. Nash Scrambler and Ambassadors and stuff like that. Yep. So he so he basically, and it, and it just sat there. Like there's no interior in this car because when they were doing the forensic analysis of the car, they just tore the entire interior apart. And that's how it, apparently it still sits at the museum like that. Like there's no interior because it was all torn out. I guess you hmm. could see the holes where the Oof. where the handcuffs and stuff were. Yeah, that's brutal. Yeah. Like, because I don't know how many people he has killed, he reported, but it wasn't a few. Has he reported anything haunted about the car? That I haven't seen anything about. Hmm. And Nash might be a good person to actually interview. I think so. What do you guys think? Man trip to Pigeon Forge this year? That's not that far. We can go to Dollywood while we're there. Okay. It's like six hours. Easy. Oh. It's like six it's hours one, from here. It's one hour, one hour more than we were planning. That's perfect. Pigeon, Pigeon Forge. Forge. It's Quick. Gatlinburg. It's Pigeon yeah. Forge and Gatlinburg. Yeah, Quick. they're right next to each other. They yeah. have the, the world's six, largest one, six, two, knife shop. Like. Yeah, like you'll go right through Pigeon Forge and into Gatlinburg. Yep. There's a, actually a lot of cool stuff. And 
not that I'm trying to sell Gatlinburg to anybody, but I mean, they have a lot of really cool stuff up there. I've, I've spent some time. In fact, I've been going there since Dollywood was called Silver Dollar City. I mean, this show brought to you by Gatlinburg Tourism, where Jeremy likes to frequent and tell people not to go. Oh, I'm not telling you not to go. <laughs> but when you do, definitely go to a Smoky Mountain uh, Saltwater Taffy. I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two. Gatlinburg. Tennessee, near Pigeon Forge, where haunted cars exist. We'll meet you there. See us live. Like and prescribe again. Prescribe. One more time. Just keep clicking the bell. And then I get notified. It, I get then weirded it. out. It's great. Yes. Yeah. Click it, unclick it, click it, unclick it. As many times as you want. Yeah. It helps our algorithm. Yeah. Something like that. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. know. Does it? The Heil thing kind of got them. I don't know. Yeah. They're, they're upset with us. <laughs> so we don't have any facts behind... So the one car doesn't, to it, our knowledge, it doesn't exist. It does anymore. not exist, but we know you that. Probably, I mean, maybe it's somebody waiting for, we I know, know man. The movies, the movies came out, and you would have thought at that point, like, they would have been like, hey, you want to buy the car? I mean, that would have been a great time to. To sell that, that yeah. Super Beetle. Yeah, because we know who it was stolen from. Uh, the guy's name's Rick. You're going to have to pronounce that word. It's definitely Italian. Hold on a second here. Hey. Hey. Oh, Rick Garzaniti. Garzaniti. Hey, how you doing? Have a nice, uh, have, have a sheet over here. I got a nice Garzaniti on, on special today, huh? Garzaniti, a little Parmesan on top, a little mozzarella. You're going to love it, all right? How about your wife? How's she doing? Good? How's your wife and my kids? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Bundy made him an Fucking offer he can't refuse. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't think he asked to borrow the car. I'm just going to say, I don't think he asked. My God. Hey, uh, my name is Bundy. Can I uh, borrow your car for a few? I just There's going to be handcuffs in it. Your wife's going to love yeah, it. I, I just I, need to strangle a couple buy, of chicks. I, I bought the right hat today. Isn't that where the right one <laughs> That's Fucking where we're going. Hellbound, baby. Um, uh, I chicken. just like choking chickens. Check out uh, Red Devil online if you like this hat. Red Devil has a lot of cool kind of a muscle swagger type wear. I like a lot of their stuff. Check out reddevil.com. Diablo Raw. Yep. Hellbound uh, 666. They sent a bunch of shit like that. Go at Get after it. Get it. Like and subscribe over there. Get it. Yeah. So, they, you know, I would like that. This one looks cooler to me because it's orange. Yeah. But the other one was kind of a beige color, right? Yeah, it's beige. So he uses these cars, he abducts women, and I guess he's killing people in he's these He's killing cars. people in the cars. So he also killed people in front of him. Because one of the things that I remember he would do is he would, he would wear a cast, and he would find some girl, and he'd be like, hey, I really need some help putting my boat back on top of my car. And he'd get him over there. I guess it was like a canoe or something. And can you help me? Because I got this one broken wing. Well, how did you get it off the car? Oh, I mean, you just yank it off. The, no, they, they were getting ready to be murdered. They didn't know. <laughs> they didn't ask. We were going to get a question at that point. Yeah, I'm like, how did you get it off the car, sir? Right. Um, but he was charming. He was good looking. I mean, I yeah. get it. I mean, that's, you know, it's one of the one of the things about these people that are extremely narcissistic. And, you know, I mean, you it, it channels that, that, I mean, the people that have even played Bundy in the movies recently are, are very good looking people. So oh, yeah, I mean, was that Zach, Zach, Zach Efron. Efron? Yeah. I didn't care about him, but Papa Het played the arresting officer. Zach, good Zach job. Efron is really coming to his own. He's got some good movies out there. Yeah. Um, I watched a older one recently uh, called paper boy, which was a very strange film. Is that the one where like partying neighbors and stuff yeah. like that? Yeah. That's the one. I haven't seen it in, in a long time, but yeah. <laughs> well, it was uh, Matthew Mahanahay's in it. Mahanahay? Yeah. Uh, hams. <laughs> <laughs> hams. From the land of sky blue water. Matthew Mahanahay. <laughs> Matthew Mahanahay. <laughs> Are Matthew. you intoxicated, <laughs> sir? <laughs> Matthew Mahanahay. All right. All right. <laughs> Frankie, you had a stroke, or he's drinking, drinking some beer. <laughs> Why do you fucking say it? <laughs> my, my heart hurt. John Cusack's in it too, and Nicole John Kidman. John Cusack and Nicole Kidman, <laughs> and Nicole Hinden. <coughs> anyway, 
Um, he's done some great films lately. He has a movie called Gold too. That's pretty crazy. I it's a fishbowl. But I really did. I did enjoy the Bundy movie. Yeah, it was. Do you think that Bundy would be considered like the first Uber driver? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> hundred <laughs> percent. He charged those women for the ride. And then. <laughs> yeah. It's all here at hauntedgarage.net. He had the taxi license plate and all. He was good. I mean, a lot of people kind of, you know, use those types of uh, decoys. Or you got to look at uh, John Wayne Gacy. He had the big car that was like a cop car. He had yep. fake badges. I mean, this is something that they kind of all learned from each other. It's kind of disgusting when you think about it to that extent. I mean, how many people lost? And I don't think they ever really identified how many people he did kill. He killed a lot. Yeah. He so I, a lot. I think that there's... He never admitted how many people he killed? No. I don't think so. No, because Florida has a death penalty. And he, he... And the other thing about him is it wasn't just in Florida. Like, he yeah. was, he was like, in California and, like, Denver, Colorado. Colorado. And yep. he was all over the country. So who knows, like, if he was just passing through Idaho and said, hey, I, uh, I need to choke somebody. You're not wrong. I mean, I mean, there's a lot of people that had gone missing on that trail. Once again, getting back to the highway thing. But uh, when you look at when you look at Bundy, I mean, Bundy. So he's tried in a bunch of different states. Colorado, I think he escapes. He escapes like one or more than he, one time. He's, he's escaped twice. One yeah. of them, he was like locked in the judges' chambers and climbed the out library. the window. Jumped out the window. Oh, wasn't that the library? Broke his fucking ankle. Wasn't he in? Wasn't he at Missouri State and then made it up to Kansas City? And no. was going to be tried there, then escaped from that prison. No, he, I don't think he killed anybody in Missouri that we. No, know. not killed anybody, but it, that one of his first crimes was that he got stuck in Missouri at the, the deadliest acres or whatever. Oh, the, yeah, they yeah, call it the bloodiest thirty-eight acres in the country, Missouri State Prison. Yeah, because he's from here, there. or he's from Missouri, or something like that. Who Bundy? I Is think he really? so. Yeah, I, I'm I'm eighty percent sure. Probably I think it was Bundy. Kid. Because I, that's uh, what I thought too. Rachel and I were talking about this just a couple of days ago. Here, let's look it up. Ted Bundy, right? Yep. Use my pocket computer. Pocket computer. Pocket computers now available. Like and prescribe. Again. Hams. Hamongs. <laughs> he, yeah. He's got a BA from the University of Washington, so he's not. Dumb. He's up there. In the brain. Yeah, I think he's from the Northwest Pacific. Okay, so maybe yeah, I thought he was a guy. West Coast kid. I mean, yep. now Charles Ray Hatcher is from St. Joseph, Missouri. And That's he, who I was thinking. Stayed. Charles Ray Hatcher is the one yeah. I was talking about. Okay. Because yeah. he, he stayed at that prison. Yeah, I mean, yeah. He he escaped. yeah and, he, yeah, and escaped. he escaped. Yeah, so I That's think it was who I, I might be confusing Hatcher. the two. Wait, yeah, he escaped from Missouri State? Yeah. Yeah. How and in then, the hell do you do and that? And then he would plead insanity. And kept getting off and kept killing kids. He was a pretty sick bastard. Because Missouri but State is a maximum security When prison. he was at Missouri State, he wasn't there for murder. He was there for, uh, like, molestation. molestation or something like that. He wasn't in the big Oh, they ones. didn't put him in the... They they should have told everybody, hey, here comes a molester. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah, take like it care of. Yeah, exactly. you don't last long, which is awesome. Thank God our prison system is at least doing something with pedophiles. You know, yeah. God bless the criminals. <laughs> Not really. But you know what? Even bad people can do good things. You know, for we, He's I think from it's Burlington, Vermont, where Bernie Sanders is. They're probably first cousins. <laughs> 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 well, Jeremy, I mean, what? this is crazy. We got to go to Pigeon Forge, find out if this thing's haunted. Let's talk to Nash. I mean, unfortunately, we don't have any haunted stories about the cars. One's missing. One's in a. In a, he's a, it's actually in a in an interesting museum because that place definitely has activity if they have all that shit I mean, around it, right? There's, I already know. Of, Is that where the the Kevorkian van used to be? I believe so. And then Zach, now he, Zach has it. Good old Zach Baggins bought it. Team I mean, Baggins. I would really like to check that out. Too. I'm Zach Baggins, and you're possessed. I get possessed by Ham's cans. I'm Zach Baggins. From the blue waters. And I From the possessed. sky blue waters. From the sky blue waters, a demon came out and possessed him. It's the truth, man. The guy gets fucking possessed by a toothpick. <laughs> Col- Sam and Colby are doing this bullshit now. They're always getting possessed. I mean, what the fuck, bro? Remember when I got possessed by the Queen Mary that's never possessed anybody else? There's no demons on the Queen Mary. I mean, Peter it's James residual. said it was a girl, and it's, he talked to her, yeah. and she responded, and they saw wet footprints. That's what I remember. Sightings. 
1989. I'd look it up. Sightings. Look up sightings. Love sightings. Right now. Yeah. Dot com. Sightings. Dot, that's not. I wouldn't, no, no, no. I, I wouldn't do it. Nope. Don't don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. It's We're not responsible kind of for any cybersecurity incidents that incur from any website uh. we refer to. After you go there, <laughs> check out whitehouse.com. Don't do it. Jeez. Well, some of you may. <laughs> you know what that is, though, don't you? It's whitehouse.gov is the government. Whitehouse.com they is bought a the porn dom- site. The, the government bought the domain. Now it redirects to .gov. Did they really? Yeah. Dude, they that's made a probably, fortune. That was that's probably a good idea. <laughs> you know, some people, some people, guys invent coffee and they invent these beautiful coffee stores, and the other guy just invents the fucking stir. It makes more money. More money. You know, yeah. you paperclip. Need, you need a fucking stir because I got like cream and shit in it. I want to stir the fucking coffee, and that guy makes more money than anybody. Like and prescribe if you like coffee and you like to stir stuff, and you realize that millionaires make things. Things. The paperclip. Paper Look, clip. the paperclip is a is a buttons straws. Yeah. <laughs> The zipper. The zipper, guys. Where are you guys going with this? Huh? Huh. You're going to try and sell me sausage? <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you how the zipper works, Jeremy. <laughs> well, dear Lord, you. Yeah. do not blame Fabian for what he has done. Yeah. Amen. Well, from all of us here that enjoy the Bundy's Beetle episode. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so fucking crazy the way it looks here. Yeah. Do it again, Jeremy. Do it again. Oh, just, <laughs> <laughs> I can't even look because I gotta look over here. We're, we're do- gonna we're gonna follow up on this episode with you guys. We're actually gonna go visit Pigeon Forge this summer, okay? And we'll follow up with this episode. We'll tag it with this episode. You'll find the link right there. Not there. Anyway. From all of us here at the Haunted Garage, we hope you've enjoyed this episode. Be light. Take it light. We're not trying to offend anybody, all right? We love you. Comment below. Subscribe. Share with your friends. Do something. High five your neighbor. Whatever you want to do. From all of us here, I'm Frankie. I'm Jeremy David King. And I'm Fabian Rodriguez. We'll be seeing you. Toodles. <laughs>